Well done to Adrian Rawlinson. Now, next three competitors. The time to beat 4202 by Jeff Dolan of Canada. And first of all, it's Holland's strongest man, Peter Baltus. Next to him, six feet five inches tall from the United States, Jesse Marundi. And then it's our defending World's Strongest Man champion, Marius Pudzianowski of Poland. Every inch an athlete. Take your grip. Still a lot of tension, right. a lot of nerves. And away we go. It's going to be very interesting to see how Pudzianowski near us. The camera gets on, but already Jesse Marundi has dropped his anvils and Pudzianowski is absolutely streaking away. He's actually renowned as a slow starter in the heat. And the strong men, all they've got to do is put one foot over the line. And Pudzianowski, well, he did it, but he's down about 10 metres after that turn. And Peter Baltus is coming through on the far side. Pudzianowski's gone down again. The Dutchman comes through. He's going to win it by a mile. 33-0-3. Pudzianowski is just a fraction behind, just over 35 seconds. And it looks as though Jesse Marundi has given up. What a time by Peter Baltus. That's a great start for you, then. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm very determined to get in the final this year, so first indication. So six points to the man from Holland, ahead of the defending champion, and Adrian Rollinson starting with three in fourth place. Peter Baltus, Holland's strongest man. Can he win this event? and win his second event in a row. He did tremendously well in the farmer's walk. Five barrels required, and that means six lifts. This is the first barrel, the total weight all up, 573 pounds, going well at the moment. Now, Baltus gets that one, 618 pounds, 280 kilos. Wearing uh, weightlifting shoes, the knee wraps, a tight lycra pair of shorts, the weightlifting belt as well. These guys just considering what would happen if they got injured. Well, he's tied in terms of the number of lifts so far. It's a little bit slower than Pujanovsky and Dolan, but this could be the lead. No, it's not. So just five squats for Peter Baltus. It's good in terms of the weight, but the time is slow. Real tried for the fifth one because my time wasn't that fast. If I had a fifth one, I could have won, but too heavy. So victory for the Canadian ahead of Pujanovsky. Padan in third, Rollinson fourth, and Baltas back in fifth, which means he's now two points off the pace, held jointly by Marius. When in Zambia, you've got to ride an elephant. An elephant weighs five tons. That's almost as much as you weigh, Adrian. Big change this time, no gluotachy allowed, which means the athletes have got to squeeze the stones even harder. That's all arm power. And in the world of strength, nobody wants to be remembered as a two-stone man. Well, the stones are the same as we've seen in the past, but those drums, the layout is a little bit different from the tallest to the smallest for our first two competitors, Adrian Rollinson and Peter Baltus. But grip. Igor Pedan of the Ukraine has already gone. He competed Get on his ready. own, 25.88 for four stones. Away we go. And Adrian Rollinson really needs to get a move on here. Peter Baltus going well. And Rollinson, well, he's at least one complete stone behind. And if Rollinson's got any chance of making it through to the final, he's got to make a real impression in these last three events in our first heat. Uh, Peter Baltus is absolutely flying. That was just over 18 seconds for the first four stones for Holland's strongest man. And Baltus just taking a little pause here. Rollinson, he's having trouble with number four. 140 kilos, 309 pounds. This one that Baltus is trying is 20 kilos heavier. There's not many men in the world could lift this final stone. One of the biggest difficulties is just getting your arms around it. It's absolutely enormous. And Adrian Rollinson has got number four. Good stuff. 
but his time of course is very much slower than Peter Baltus now then 15 seconds to go on the time limit of 75 seconds and Peter Baltus says he's had enough but that was so so quick 18.96 for Baltus for four stones that will take a bit of beating Peter that was a fantastic time for the first four was that your aim uh, basically first four very fast I hope to do five of course but uh, 50 that just was too heavy and Aid, you were coming up on the rails there. Did you think you might get him at the end with the fifth one? Yeah, but uh, this liquid chalk I've got on, it's a little bit slippy and you can't, can't grab the stones with it, so a little mistake. And so they all managed to lift four stones. The trouble was for Adrian Rollinson, everybody else did it rather quicker than he did. And here's how the scoreboard looks with just two of them. A very important event for Peter Baltus. He's what? got to win here and then do well in the final event, the tyre flip, to make it through to the final. It's been a great contest so far. Number one is put away. 125 kilos, this log weighs. Look at the size of his arms. That was a bit unsteady, though. Now, what about the time? The leading time so far, 27.09. It's going to be close, and I think he might be just outside. That, in fact, is 29.06, so he's only in third place at the moment. This is a must-do, and Peter Baltus knows it. I'm sure he's tried to lift this sort of weight in training in the past, but can he be successful on the banks of Victoria Falls and the Zambezi? The mighty Zambezi, but can he become a mighty Dutchman? No, he can't, nice. and I don't think Peter Baltus will make it through to the final after that. So that fourth log was just too much for everybody. Jeff Dolan winning the log lift. And what it means is after five events, this particular heat is done and dusted. Much at stake. So here we go with our final event in heat one. Dolan nearest the camera, Pushinovsky, Baltus, Rollinson and Igor Pidan. And Pushinovsky really is beginning to look the sort of dominant character he was in the final last year. And that is Adrian Rollinson trying to salvage something out of this competition. He always gives it everything, does Rollinson. He's coming up into about second or third place. But Marius is absolutely flying here. One more flip should do it. And Marius wins yet again. He doesn't actually have to do that other flip. It's just got to touch the line. That was great. And look at that. Peter Baltus finishes in second. Jeff Dolan third. Rollinson fourth and Pedan fifth. But both Pushinovsky and Jeff Dolan are... Well, Pujanovsky emphatically belongs at the top of the tree, winning the tyre flip very convincingly ahead of Baltus and Dolan. I'll be back.